Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about T flip flop to SR flip flop conversion in digital logic design course, digital electronics course and switching theory and logic design course. In the previous videos we have already discussed 11 flip flop conversions total 12 flip flop conversions are available so in the previous videos 11 flip flop conversions are available now in this video last flip flop conversion if anybody wants please refer that previous videos in my youtube channel develop srinivasarao now in this video how to convert t flip flop to sr flip flop to convert T flip flop to SR flip flop, we have to follow five steps. The first step is identify which flip flop is available flip flop and which flip flop is required flip flop. So, here the available flip flop is nothing but the first flip flop that we are mentioned in the given problem statement. So, this is the problem statement. The first flip-flop that we have mentioned here can be considered as available flip-flop. So, therefore, available flip-flop is T flip-flop. In the problem statement, whatever the flip-flop that we have mentioned, that flip-flop can be considered as a required flip-flop. So, therefore, the required flip-flop is SR flip-flop. So, the first step is completed. So, from the given problem statement, we are identifying available flip-flop is a T flip-flop and the required flip-flop is SR flip-flop. Then, we can go for step 2. What is step 2? Construct characteristic table for the required flip-flop. Here, the required flip-flop is SR flip-flop. For that one, we have to construct the characteristic table. In the characteristic table, the first column is called as external inputs columns. External input columns. In the required flip-flop, what are the external inputs are there? Yes and R are called as the external inputs of the required flip-flop. So that we have to write yes and R in the first column. Then, present state or our previous output represents the second column that can be denoted by Q of T. Next state or our present output can be denoted by Q of T plus 1. So, these are the three columns in the characteristic table of required flip-flop. So, the characteristic table of a required flip-flop can contain three columns. The first column is external inputs of the required flip-flop. So, that is S yes and R. The present state or a previous output of the required flip-flop is Q of T. From that two input columns, we have to find out the Q of T plus 1. That is called as the next state or a present output. Now, so in that characteristic table, the first two columns can be considered as input columns. Okay. So by using that input columns, we have to find out the next state or a present output that is a Q of T plus 1. In the first two columns, how many number of input variables are there? Yes, R and Q of T. So, there are uh, three input variables are there. With the three inputs, how many number of possible input combinations? That is, eight possible input combinations are available with the three inputs S, R and Q of T. So, eight possible input combinations are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 so these are the eight possible input combinations now we have to find out the next state that is the q of t plus 1 
for each and every possible input combination. Now consider the first row. S value 0, R value 0. Then whatever the previous output is there, that previous output can be obtained as Q of T plus 1. Next one, the second row, S value 0 and R value 0. Whatever the previous output is there, that previous output can be obtained as the present output or a next state. Next one, the third row, S value 0, R value 1 represents the reset state. In that reset state, output of the flip flop or a Q of T plus 1 value 0. Next, go for fourth row. In the fourth row, S value 0 and R value 1, it becomes the reset state. In the reset state, Q of T plus 1 value is 0. So next row is S value 1 and R value 0. It becomes the set state. In the set state, Q of T plus 1 value is 1. Next row, S value 1 and R value 0. So it, it is also set state. In the set state, Q of T plus 1 value is 1. Next, next row, S value 1 and R value 1. So this is a invalid state. That invalid state can be represented by question mark. Here, the last row, S value 1 and R value 1. So in that case also, we have to represent the invalid state. Q of T plus 1 becomes invalid state. So this invalid state can also represented as don't guess. Okay. So this is the characteristic table of required flip-flop that is the SR flip-flop. Next, go for third step. The third step is construct the excitation table of available flip-flop. So the available flip-flop is T flip-flop. For that one, we have to find out the excitation table. In the available flip-flop, whatever the input is present, that input can be called as flip-flop input. Here, the flip-flop input is T. Okay. Now, we have to find out the T value by using second column and the third column can be taken as input columns. Okay. So, now Q of T and Q of T plus 1 columns can be considered as input columns. From that one, we have to find out the T value. Okay. So, here, how to find out the T value? If Q of T and Q of T plus 1 values both are containing the same values, then T value becomes 0. Here, Q of T and Q of T plus 1 value both are containing 0 value then T value is 0. Next one, Q of T value 1 and Q of T plus 1 value 1. Both are containing the same value so that T value is 0. Next one, Q of T value 0, Q of T plus 1 value is also 0. Then T value becomes 0. Next one, Q of T value 1, Q of T plus 1 value is 0. Both are different. Then both inputs are different. Then T value is 1. Next one, Q of T value 0, Q of T plus 1 value 1, both are different. The output of T value is 1. Next one, Q of T value 1 and Q of T plus 1 value is 1. Both are containing same values. The T value becomes 0. Q of T value 0 and Q of T plus 1 value don't care. At that time, T value becomes don't care. Q of T value 1 and Q of T plus 1 value is a, a 1, don't care, then T value becomes don't care. Okay, so the last three columns represents the excitation table of available flip-flop. Excitation table of available flip-flop. The available flip-flop is T flip-flop. The last three columns represents the excitation table of T flip-flop. Once we are constructing the characteristic table of required flip-flop that is SR and construct the excitation table of available flip-flop that is the T flip-flop in step 2 and step 3, then we can go for step 4. In the step 4, we have to find out the Boolean expression for 
variable t by using the Carnap map. Which Carnap map we have to use? Here, for the entire table, the first two columns represents the input columns. In the first two columns, how many number of variables are there? 1, 2, 3. 3 variables are there. So that we have to use a 3 variable Carnap map for finding out the Boolean expression for t. So the 3 variable Carnap map is this one. The 3 variable Carnap map contains five, 8 cells. The 8 cells are this one. The inputs are yes, R and Q of T. So these are the 3 input variables. So horizontal side variable yes, vertical side R and Q of T variables. Horizontal side variable S can take either 0 value or 1 value. Vertical side two variables are there. That two variables can take four possible input combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Here we have to use gray code, not binary. We have to use gray code 0, 0, 0, 1. Instead of 1, 0, we have to write 1, 1. After that, we have to write 1, 0. So this is the gray code format, two bit gray code format. Next. Now, consider the uh, T column. In that T column, where the ones and don't cares are present. Here, one is present. The corresponding input combination is 0, 1, 1. Here, 0. Here, 1, 1. We are placing 1. Next one. Here, one is present. The corresponding input combination is 1, 0, 0. Here 1, here 0, 0, we are placing 1. Next one, here don't care is present. The corresponding input combination is 1, 1, 0. So here 1, here 1, 0, we are placing don't care. Next one, here don't care is present. The corresponding input combination is 1, 1, 1. So here we are placing 1. How we are mapping, uh, how we are finding out the Boolean expression from this Carnap map. First, these two ones can be formed as a pair and uh, this don't care and this one can be formed as a pair by folding the Carnap map in the middle from right to left. So this one and this don't care are adjacent or are opposite, then they can be formed as a pair. These two ones can also formed as a pair. So two pairs we are getting after simplifying this uh, Carnap map. Now, what is the Boolean expression we are getting for this pair? So here, yes, R, Q of T. So for this don't care, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. For this one, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Any column contains a combination of zeros and ones, we have to ignore that column. So our column contains a combination of zeros and ones, we have to ignore that column. And S column we are considered because it contains only ones. And Q of T column is considered it contains only zeros. So in the S column, S value 1 means yes. And Q of T column contains Q of T value 0. That can be denoted by Q of T bar. Next, we have to find out the Boolean expression for this one. So yes, R, Q of T. For this one, 0, 1, 1. For this one, 1, 1, 1. Any column contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. S column is ignored because it contains a combination of zeros and ones. R column is considered it contains only ones. Q of T column is considered it contains only ones. In the R column, R value 1 means R. In the Q of T column, Q of T value is 1 so that it can be represented by Q of T. So therefore, what is the Boolean expression we are getting for a variable T? So that is S into Q of T bar plus R 
into q of t so this is the boolean expression we are getting from the carnap map so once we are getting the boolean expression by using that boolean expression we have to draw the circuit diagram in step 5 in the step 5 first we have to draw the block diagram by using available clip block here the available clip block is a t clip block so draw the t clip block block diagram so in the t clip block block diagram so here t is there here this is a q of t input q of t can also be called as q of n and the q of t bar can also be called as q of n bar now what is the value of t so the value of t becomes the this boolean expression so i am taking s and here i am taking r so s into q of t bar so here i am taking q of t bar from this place So this, this value is Q of T bar and this value is S. These two inputs can be sent to one AND gate. Next one is R into Q of T. Here this is R and this is Q of T is there. That Q of T can be taken here. So these two inputs can be sent to one AND gate. So this is a R and this is a Q of T. So these two AND gates can be send to one R gate. So whatever the output from the R gate that can be connected to T. So therefore T is equal to S into Q of T bar plus R into Q of T. So this is the circuit diagram we are getting from the given clip lock conversion. So this is the clock. So thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel after subscribing my YouTube channel. So Divvela Srinivasarao. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubt. So this is the circuit diagram. This is the Carnap map solution. First three columns represents the characteristic table of required clip lock. The last three columns represents the excitation table of available clip lock and identifying the available clip lock and required clip lock from the given problem statement. Thank you. Thank you one and all.